Scientific illiteracy. How do it work? Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about the uh, best six bucks you'll ever spend if you overhaul a lot of hubs. Um, I've seen so many people, you know, take a hub and overhaul it using their filthy fingers, using, uh, see, filthy fingers, um, or perhaps using, uh, like, tweezers, all kinds of shit. And uh, I want to say that I didn't know that these existed until about 10 years ago. Uh, you might not know that they exist either. So we're going to quickly pretend to overhaul this hub, and I'll show you how it works. This is a magnetizer demagnetizer, and my god, get one in your life. You're going to love it. So what we're first going to do is we're going to clean our pick, make sure there's no nasty detritus on that thing, aside from my horrible skin cells. Um, We'll pretend like I've used tools to open this hub up rather than just my fingers. Oh, no, we don't have to pretend. I actually have to use tools. Hold on a second. Of course I grabbed the one hub that's like totally got damaged threads. So, number one, and this is not necessarily pertaining to magnets, but when you're working on something, take things off and put them down in the order they came off the thing. That way you can not have to use your brain at all to uh, put it back together. So we're going to go ahead and remove the cone, which is also somewhat jammed on there. Good thing I have big strong man hands. <laughs> Wow, it's really, really, really on there. Okay, so, magnet use number one. We're going to remove all the bearings from one side using pretty much any neodymium ma magnet. Put your axle through a little bit, get your magnet in there, and it will collect all your bearings. Put those aside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, most hubs are going to have ten in there, front hubs at least. You might have nine quarter inch per side on a rear. going to do the same thing on the other side, separate my bearings out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1 stuck to the cone. Now, I'm just doing a quick video here so we're not going to go through the entire process, although it's not a bad idea to use a clean rag, not the one I'm using, and wipe off and inspect your cones. As expected, these are chowdered, so none of this matters. We would also wipe out our cups until they're nice and clean. Use my tiny Japanese pinkies to get in there. So, let's say I'm done cleaning up. I'm done cleaning up, everything is good, I've inspected it, I've replaced cones if I need to, and now I'm going to put a little blob of grease pretty much all the way around where I'm going to be placing each bearing. Now here's where our buddy the magnetizer comes in. Take any steel or ferrous object, rub it around, in the posi side, posi vibes only, please. And I am able to pick up each bearing with just barely enough magnetism so that when I stick it in the grease, oh, I got two, look at that. The 
surface tension of the grease will adhere the bearing where I place it using the magnet. So I will go all the way around. pretend like I'm not fucking this up horribly because <laughs> I'm on camera now what we would do is stick our axle back through uh, we would have done the other side already see the grease acts as a an adhesive and so the bearings the bearings will stay put and you can flip the hub over and and glue your other set of bearings in there for assembly. So, yeah, get yourself a magnetizer. Get yourself a small a cow magnet works really well for this. Um, I'm using Park Tools uh, internal frame housing guide magnet, uh, which, by the way, like if you get that kit, it doesn't work. It sucks. Um, you're better off just like jamming the cable and housing through there, just guessing. But I will say this. This little magnet, this little machined aluminum and uh, super strong rare earth magnet, is the best, handiest little shop magnet I've ever owned. It's teeny, so it, it's just as powerful as a cow magnet, but it has a flat end, and it fits into spaces where the cow magnet can't, can't fit. If you're uh, screaming at your computer screen right now, what the fuck is a cow magnet, I'll tell you. Uh, cows eat a bunch of weird metal stuff, apparently, and if you go into, like, feed stores or, like, some hardware stores, you can get these cylindrical magnets, which you give to the cow, like you shove it down its throat, and then in one of its stomachs, this magnet will pick up all the little pieces of garbage that it, that it eats, you know, bits of fence and nails and stuff, um, and it will sort of hold it and collect it all in one piece. Um, one wonders what would happen if you fed it two magnets. I think it would probably die because the, the intestinal walls would get stuck together, but Nevertheless, cow magnets are a thing. You can buy them. They're incredibly expensive and incredibly fragile. They're made of some sort of, like, you know, metallic ceramic that shatters if you drop it. So, you know, I usually don't bother to demagnetize these. Um, however, if you wanted to, at this point, you would now rub your little ding-dong in the negativity slot. Watch, this isn't going to work. Yeah, it totally didn't work. Let's see if striking it works. Striking it didn't work. I have this problem with magnetism on my bench. I think probably Russians are trying to kill me with like a, a magnetron hidden in my pants pocket or something because all of my wrenches, all of my wrenches are magnetized. You see that? There is no, there is no goddamn reason why anything on my bench should be perma-magnetized. Um, I've, I've tried and thought long and hard about what it could possibly be that could be causing this magnetism, aside from my animal magnetism, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, I have a huge amount of power tools, uh, like battery chargers, plugged in maybe three feet away. Uh... I mean, I think those are probably shielded. Maybe it's because they're all so closely packed together and they're just, like, magnetizing everything that they touch. But somehow, look at that. Those are pretty big wrenches. And they stick together because of how magnetized they are. And I've tried to demagnetize them. I need to buy a degausser, I think. Because what, what I, you know, usually what you would do is, if you have a magnetized tool, you just strike it really hard against something. Um, and it'll sort of realign the, the magnetic fields in it so that it's no longer magnetic. I've bashed these things all over the place, and by the time I come to work the next day, they're remagnetized. So um, it's probably the CIA or the Russians or, uh, you know, maybe my mom spying on me. Who knows? But there you go. If only I could afford a demagnetizer big enough to fit my entire life in. Uh, this has been a Yellow Sheldon video. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, send me hate mail, IDK, LOL, uh, have a good night.